Welcome. So the World Mental Health Day just got concluded all over the world and several experts at different times shared their thoughts on suicide prevention, which was the focus of this sales Mental Health Day. I had the opportunity of uh, talking about this subject matter at a television station right here in Nigeria by name Television Continental TVC. It was about one or two hours of conversation around suicide prevention. We talked about why is it rampant these days, what's the role of government in prevention of suicide, what's the, what's the plan behind the 42nd um, petition being, being introduced by the World Health Organization and United for Global Mental Health all around the world. And I was able to share this on the television station. The next video is a clip of my session with the TVC team on the World Mental Health Day, which was October 10th, 2019. I hope that this message doesn't just go uh, with this year, that but everyone, irrespective of your profession, irrespective of your age, irrespective of your social status, takes it as their responsibility to look over their neighbors, to pay attention to the warning signs of suicide and play their own role in preventing suicide. Every 40 seconds, someone loses their life to suicide. Today is World Mental Health Day, and this year's theme focuses on suicide prevention. The World Health Organization is launching the 40 Seconds of Action campaign to raise awareness on the scale of uh, suicide across the world and the role that each of us can play to help prevent it. It is also a day to unite in efforts to improve the mental health of people around the world. There are renewed calls for an improvement in suicide prevention strategies and a reduction in the stigma associated with suicide. Joining us now is a mental health advocate, Toulouse Francis. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Thank you for having me. Every 40 seconds, someone loses their life to suicide. How worrisome is this trend? It's uh, very worrisome because uh, you can imagine that that means as you're speaking right now, someone is taking his or her life. And um, if you look at the population, let's even just take our locality alone. If every 40 seconds someone is um, dying by suicide, then that means before you blink an eye, uh, perhaps um, hundreds are gone. You know, and that tells you that it's not something to, to joke with, it's not something to underestimate or, under, or underrate. And um, it calls for serious action, serious um, sensitization, um, serious education as well. I think it also calls for uh, serious care from each and every one of us so that we care for our neighbors, we care for our friends and colleagues. Um, we don't just play to the gallery certain signs and things that we hear them say. All right, there has been uh, some level of awareness over the years. How effective would you say these awareness campaigns and all the efforts are when you, when you pitch them against uh, the number of uh, or the rate of suicide around? I think it's been um, somewhat effective in terms of educating people. But the challenge here is um, what are the factors mm. that bring people to that point where they conclude that look life is no longer worth living. Um, let me leave this world. Have those factors changed? Have things gotten better? Uh, perhaps not. So we can keep talking and talking and talking, but if the, the things around the people who are involved doesn't get better, the economy doesn't get better, the healthcare system doesn't get better, people are not sure that when they come out to speak, they're not going to be stigmatized. It doesn't change anything. So we keep talking, people have been talking, people are hearing, but when it comes to action, what exactly is being done? What are the factors? The factors around them that encourages this, have they stopped? How suicide is being reported, has it changed? So these factors have contributed a whole lot to the number rather than the advocacy and, and, and the talks that are going around. Suicide. So uh, I'll pick it up from the point of if the factors that you know, make these people commit suicide, has it improved or not? If it hasn't, how would a 40 second video change their mindset? So the 40 seconds video is to call on government to improve funding for mental health. So imagine if I can walk into a primary health center, right, and my mental and emotional well-being is, is being checked. I don't have to call a psychiatrist. I don't have to call a therapist or a psychologist. There's a primary health center very close to my house. Uh, I feel burdened emotionally. Can I walk in there and talk to someone and get the necessary counseling and help that I need? Um, there's a call for universal health coverage. Do we have HMOs who cover your psychosocial and psychological needs that each time I walk into a hospital, they take care of that. When someone walks into the hospital and talks about headache, 
can the medic ask out about the emotional well-being how are you feeling what's up with you mm. all these things are, are, are some of the factors that 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 needs to play in for this to reduce all right so the call for the 40 seconds video is to call on governments all over the world to improve funding when there's improved funding for mental health services then you can get those services from the practitioners who are supposed to take care of that so it's a call to government all over the world that look we need to include funding we need to add more funding in terms of health and mental health in particular all right Tolusha Francis thank you very much for coming on the program thank you for having me right every 40 seconds someone loses their life to suicide Today is World Mental Health Day and this year's theme focuses on suicide prevention. The World Health Organization is launching the 40 Seconds of Action campaign to raise awareness on the scale of suicide across the world and the role that each of us can play to help prevent it. It is also a day to unite in efforts to improve the mental health of people around the world. There are renewed calls for an improvement in suicide prevention strategies and a reduction in the stigma associated with suicide. Uh, joining me now is a mental health uh, advocate, uh, Tolusia Francis. It's good to have you join us right now. Thank you. For having now, you. let make us understand the, the, the understanding of mental health from the general public and to a professional. Is, it seems to be different, what we see as mental health. But make us understand what really constitutes mental health all right so um when we talk about mental health um a lot of times we just take mental health as mental health but we, mental health constitutes that um, state of mind that uh, perfect uh, state of mind or health mental in terms of your mental well-being your emotional well-being and the like so we have mental health problems you have mental disorders we have mental illnesses now mental disorders could fall into a spectrum for example um, obsessive compulsive disorder, the OCD that a lot of people talk about, is a, is a disorder that has several classes under it. Okay. So when you have disorder, it means that it is, it is beyond um, just one particular um, illness as it were. Now when you have mental health problems, some could be um, emotional. So for example, um, you could have depression, anxiety and the likes. All right. Now when you have mental illnesses, they have, you begin to have those like um, schizophrenia, uh, multiple personality disorder and the like. So People need to understand that when we talk about mental health, we're talking about just the same way we're talking about public health mm. Mm. that involves um, um, you being healthy in terms of physically, you know, public health, malaria would come under public health and so on. Mm. So when it comes to mental health, it's about that um, stable state of your mental well-being, your, your mental balance. As it but in a society like ours where we find ourselves hostile for so many things that are societal, that are social, that are sometimes even cultural and political issues up and up and down is there any perfect state when oh it comes no. to when it comes <laughs> to <laughs> what should ask exactly actually. what should ask because uh, we find ourselves in in different, in different situations every day well they they so there are there are two keys that i that i share with people even when i have a therapy clients and one is um we must build resilience within ourselves, yeah. all right, that before anything happens, build that, build that resilience within yourself. And one way to also build resilience is have that good social currency, right. have good people around you that you can speak with, that when things happen, you can talk to them. If you don't have that family that you can always run back to, yeah. have those friends who have your back. Right. The other one is forgiveness. I, I, I talk about forgiveness a lot because when, when you forgive ahead, it gives you the opportunity to, as much as possible, uh, swallow things when they happen, all right? Because mm. you've already told yourself that, hey, it's a tough one. That is key. Swallow. Yeah, but it's that tough. Is key. It's, it's tough. tough, you know? But it's, tough. But it's, it's well, easier yeah. than the burden you would carry mm. when you refuse to let go. Okay. okay. Maybe, maybe we have to lash on that and then uh, take that home as forgiveness. Mike, the word forgi oh, forgiveness. Oh, no, I don't even have it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Alicia Francis, for coming. Thank you. For so right, thank thank you. you. Right. Every 40 seconds, someone loses their life to suicide. Today is World Mental Health Day, and this year's theme focuses on suicide prevention. The World Health Organization is launching the 40 Seconds of Action campaign to raise awareness on the scale of suicide across the world and the role that each of us can play to help prevent it. It is also a day to unite in efforts to improve the mental health of people around the world. 
There are renewed calls for an improvement in suicide prevention strategies and a reduction in the stigma associated with suicide. Joining us now is a mental health advocate, Tuluche Francis. Good morning. Thank you for joining us Good in TVC Breakfast. Glad to have you join us. All right. Uh, a report says about 60 million Nigerians are suffering from uh, mental health challenges, and we have just about 200,000, not 200,000, 200, 200 psychiatrists. How does this compound the challenge of trying to find solution to issues of mental health challenge? I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> where <laughs> you to have begin to start from, from somewhere. <laughs> because, um, <laughs> so it's, it's quite challenging, all right, because um, if, if, if you go to these facilities, these um, mental health facilities, you even realize that they are crowded, mm. all right, uh, because one, people want to go to the federal established oh. um, institutions because of the cost of treatment, okay, and the private ones seem expensive, for, you know, like I tell people, healthcare is expensive, um, everywhere. Um, I think another, another thing is um, people need to also start looking at um, psychologists and um, psychotherapists as uh, probably um, an option. Well, not an option per se because they can actually handle, handle certain, mm. certain things. You know, or maybe as partners, as to say. Yeah, rather than running um, straight to um, see a, a psychiatrist. I feel that some of the mental health problems that it takes to psychiatrists can actually be handled by clinical psychologists mm. or, or, or therapists. And because, I mean, one of, so if you look at the number of psychiatrists that we have, the 200, and take it back to the um, emigration of doctors from the yeah. country. So you can imagine that. So at the end of the day, it falls on one side of the profession. Um, whether you're a psychiatrist or you're an ONG specialist, the fact remains that doctors are leaving the country, mm. all right? And whether we like not, we are looking at psychiatrists today. We look at generally um, medical practitioners that we have. There is a decline in number because yeah. they are leaving. So at the end of the day, we find ourselves in this, uh, in this kind of mess where you don't have enough hands to take care of people who need, who need attention. It's quite um, disheartening. And, and painful really that we, we are in that, in that stage. All right, when WHO is recommending about a 40 second action uh, as to what we all can do to prevent uh, uh, mental health issues, what, what are those rules? What can we all do? You can add your voice to call on the government of your country mm -hmm. to improve funding for mental health, improve funding to healthcare generally. There's a universal health coverage. Under universal health coverage, uh, mental health is part of it. Under the SDGs, um, good health and well-being, mental health is part of it. If you add your voice, um, you would agree with me that one of the ways to compel government to act is by talking about issues consistently, um, leading peaceful campaigns. So what um, WHO and other health organizations are saying that, look, join your voice. It's like a voice petition to say, hey, please, we need you to, to improve funding for mental health. If you mm. improve funding for mental health, our facilities will be more equipped, more people will be able to practice, all right, and people will be able to afford health care in right. the country. So, Lucia Francis, we need to leave it at this point. Thank you for your time on TVC Breakfast. Thank you for having me. So let me make some few um, grammatical corrections here. Uh, people do not commit suicide. People die by suicide. So do not go ahead to say people commit suicide, go ahead to say people die by suicide. That is the newly approved lingua franca or use of word for saying, uh, for talking about someone who died by suicide. People die by suicide, people don't commit suicide. A number of varying factors um, as regards um, suicide exist. Right below this video, you're going to find a trivia question for you to answer about self-harm because also one of the things that uh, precedes um, suicide and yes i also want you to know that you can still go ahead to sign the 40 second um petition to government of countries about suicide um about mental uh, mental health funding um from various governments i hope that you take this message along with you share it across board talk to people share the message with every kindred of yours and let's pass this message across to everyone remember there is no health without mental health the mental health of everyone is important Thank you.